So we're going to look at stress, boundaries, and energy. So three tools. And I'm going to ask you to, to continue in your workbook and do these tools for yourself, so using yourself as the case study. But also be thinking about how you might work with these tools within your teams. So how you might utilize them. And I think later on this afternoon, there's, some, there's a brainstorming session around how you can start to integrate well-being more into kind of agency life. So just thinking about how you can use these tools with your teams and so not only be role modeling good health and well-being, but sharing that with your teams. Okay, so how do you know when you're stressed? So what are the signs? Is there anybody here that doesn't know when they're stressed? You'd be surprised how many people have never thought about it. Um, great. So what are some of the signs that you're stressed? How do you know when you're stressed? How do you behave? How do you feel? Yeah? Oh, sorry. Someone's putting their hand up. And you're either. We can, we can go with both. <laughs> you stop sleeping. Yeah. Feeling overwhelmed. Yeah. What does that... What, if you could explain that to me, how does that... How does that feel, being overwhelmed? Sure. Absolutely. I know when I feel overwhelmed, I find it impossible to make decisions because you just ruminate and you just procrastinate. Yeah. Sorry, what did you have to say at the back? Yeah. Get mad at your husband. Yeah. <laughs> Losing your sense of humor is also a very common sign that you're stressed. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, definitely. Lots of people get tense shoulders, tense jaws, feel very anxious, very sick in the stomach. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Walking the halls. <laughs> Anyone else? Yeah? Impatient. Yeah. Obsessive. Great. Yeah. So it's really important that we know when we're stressed. Um, because also, quite often, you will notice signs of stress in your body before you realize you're stressed. Um, but because we have all become so divorced from our bodies and we spend so much time up here, quite often we just ignore the signs of stress in our bodies, um, which is obviously very damaging. So um, lots of things that came up here. Uh, poor memory, that's quite an interesting one. Um, I know friends that bite all of the skin off around their nails. Um, easily fatigued, having panic attacks, so, you know, kind of lots of shallow breathing in our chest, um, getting angry, kind of having a general disinterest in life, losing your sense of humor, um, feeling a sense of dread or fear. So what I think would be really interesting for you to do is, amongst your teams, maybe when you go back to your teams, is have a conversation about what your team members' signs of stress are. Like, what are the top three things that you notice when you're stressed? Because what that then means is that you can start to look out for each other. You can start to say, hey, Jill, I've noticed that you've um, been a bit snappy or you've been biting your nails a lot. Are you feeling stressed? You know, so suddenly you can look out for each other. You know what each other's signs are. You can even do it at home with your family members, loved ones, children, whatever. Um, but knowing what your signs of stress are is really, really important because knowledge is power and as soon as we know we're feeling stressed, we can try to do something about it. So, moving on to the second page, you will see a picture of a bucket um, and there's a really nice metaphor about stress and it's called the stress bucket um, and the idea is that each of us has a different sized bucket. So, some of us can take huge amounts of stress and we have huge buckets and some of us can only take very small amounts of stress before things 